die Person von der Person passiert. Also, hohe Schwierigkeit hier. Dann geht die Aufgabe los, und das ist wichtig, die ganze Aufgabe ist nicht konzentriert, dass immer höchste Versammlung, Konzentration gepaart ist mit großem nach vorne reichen. Also, extremer Kraft, extremer Galopp. Das ist die Kunst in dieser Aufgabe, das eine mit dem anderen zu verbinden. Und nach dem starken Kraft geht es in die doppelte ganze Traversale. Das ist eine unglaublich schwierige Übung und deshalb auch dafür der Koeffizient 2. Also, wenn die Direktion geritten wird, werden Sie sehen, die Arzt bringt die Reiter entweder nach oben in der Bewertung oder nach und dann kommt das Rückwärtslicht, eine Übung, die ganz, ganz viel Durchlässigkeit, wie wir in der Fassbach sagen, ganz viel Gehorsam von Reiter All das sind Dinge, die von den Richterinnen und den Richtern immer wieder ganz sorgfältig beobachtet werden. Zählen Sie mit, fünf Dritte rückwärts. Und dann kommt der starke Tat erneut und dann sind alle Damen und Herren, da oben kurz vor A, nicht direkt bei A, sondern einige sechs Meter weiter innen, für das erste Mal 4-4. Ziehen Sie mal mit 12 bis 15 Dritte. Gleichmäßig im Anlauf, schön im Seitenbild, dass die Pferde den Richtern, den Richtern das Gefühl geben, nach vorne entweichen zu wollen, trotzdem auf der Stelle zu kommen. Vorher Passage, hinterher Passage. Und dann kommt der Schritt, der Schritt im starken Tempo, Koeffizient 2, der Schritt im versammelten Tempo, Koeffizient 2. Und äh, dann geht es erneut los, Passage, Platz und nochmal Passage. Durchatmen für den Reiter. Runterkommen. Sich selber entspannen und der Reiter muss immer wieder Möglichkeiten haben, in dieser Aufgabe, die etwa sechs Minuten dauert, zwischendurch einmal wirklich zu relaxen, kurz wieder losgelassen und dafür wirklich sehr schön Platz zu nehmen. Denn dann kommt der Galopp und im Galopp geht es mit zweier Wechsel los. Dann kommen, äh, kommt der, der starke Galopp. Dann kommen die Zickzack-Kartesale, dann zählen Sie mal mit die Anzahl der Sprünge. Die nach sechs Galoppsprünge muss gewechselt werden. Das dreimal an der Zahl und das auf der relativ kurzen Distanz hier. Das ist wahnsinnig schwer und alles, was schwer ist, kommt wieder in die Produzenten auf diese Geschichte. Der Schritt als Kühlschrank in der Reiterei, Koeffizient 2. Für das Versammeln und den starken Schritt und zickzack Traversal, die zählen bitte mit, ebenfalls Koeffizient 2. Und dann sind wir ja schon fast fertig, aber dann müssen die nochmal mitzählen, wieder Koeffizient 2, 15 Wechsel von Sprung zu Sprung. Und danach wieder Koeffizient 2, eine Pirette links herum, eine Pirette rechts herum und dann kommt natürlich noch der fliegende Galoppwechsel. Und dann geht es nach Hause, noch einmal mit dem starken Kraft und zum Schluss, so wie ich es gerade erklärt habe, Passage, Jas, Passage und dann ganz vorne, kurz vor dem Richter bei 10 wird dann endgültig angehalten und dann wird gegrüßt und der Richter, dem gegrüßt wird, Henny Hermann, der nimmt jetzt Platz, der hat die Brücke, Henny, das vielleicht einmal leuchten, das wird jetzt das Zeichen sein, wenn es losgeht und wovon ich nicht ausgehe, wenn ein Reiter sich verhindert. Meine Damen und Herren, die Richterin, die Richterin und die Richter haben Platz genommen, ich verlasse das Spiel, ich wünsche Ihnen ganz viel Freude und verspreche Ihnen, wir werden einen wunderschönen, tollen, sport- und wertvollen Aufruf erleben. Vielen Dank.
Ein herzliches Dankeschön an das Orchester, uns zwischen durch zu stellen, dass wir auch nochmal die Eicher noch einmal vorstellen und den Händler haben wird. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure to welcome you to Neuwinster for the happy Hello and a warm welcome to the FEI World Cup dressage here in Horsten Halle, Neumünster, Germany. The FEI World Cup is the most prestigious individual competition in the international dressage calendar, a truly global series that started in 1985 and that covers four leagues across the world, including the Pacific, North American, Central European and this, the Western European League. But we welcome you to this, the ninth leg here in Neumünster for the Grand Prix. The crowd is building, a fantastic arena here, an amazing atmosphere. And here at the standing so far out in front is Patrick Kittle on 70 points. You can see there in sixth place, Matthias Alexander Raff for Germany with 54. We'll see him come forward today as well as Raphael Netz. He's sitting in seventh with 52 points. Claude de Vin with the young Belgium Flynn is sitting in 10th with 37 points. And then further down the standings, we can see Larissa Paulis from Belgium with 33. She sits in 12th. And then Boya Caracosa in equal 16th for Spain with 27 points. Marlies van Borlen in equal 18th for the Netherlands with 26 points. They'll all be looking to pick up some more points tomorrow in the freestyle. And here is the start list. You can see it, Juliana Ruckenhorst out first with her lovely Aperol. Then Ingrid Klimka coming in third, Fabian muller Lakmaya in coming in fourth, then Korea's rider in sixth. You can see the times there as well. Marie van der Putten coming in eighth with Torbaletta's Titanium RS2. Boya Calicos in tenth. That's at 10.45. We have a couple of short breaks in this class as well. And then further down the list, you can see Bianca Nowak, Ollenbrook, and Florine OLD for Germany coming in at 11.20. And Matthias Alexander Rath in 13th. And Patrick Kittle coming in last into the arena with Forever Young, HRH. And here are the judges. At E, we have Clive Housel from Great Britain. At H, we have Hans Christian Matheson from Denmark. At C, Germany's Henning Lerman. At M, Ulrich Neville from Germany. And at B, Martin van der Heyden, the judge at B for the Netherlands. Half 
fantastic grand jury there. And make sure that you download the Spectator Judging app and you can join in with our expert panel of judges. Be in with a chance of winning some prizes as well, so make sure you download the app. But we start now with the first combination into the arena. It is Julian Blockenhorst with Aperol, 13 year old Holstein, a stallion by and pair. Julian and Aperol started their international career back in May 2022 with a bang, winning in both the Grand Prix and the Freestyle in Redfin with scores of up to 78%. They're very consistently scoring around 70% in the Grand Prix. Last year they competed here, finishing 8th in the Grand Prix with 71.5 and 9th in the Freestyle with 76.6. Last time out though, they competed in the Fausto Row at CDIO Four Star Nations Cup. They finished 11th in the Grand Prix with 69.7 and 10th in the Special. This is only their second ever World Cup. Seventeen horse and rider combinations coming forward in two days at Grand Prix. Fifteen will go forward to tomorrow's Grand Prix freestyle. You can see here that the horses and riders are having to go inside the whiteboards. It's a very small arena here in Neumünster. An amazing electric atmosphere and such a knowledgeable crowd. So the bell has gone. As we welcome our first horse and rider combination into the arena, it is Julianne Bruckenhorst and Aperol for Germany. Nice still halt and the lovely move off, really nice and uphill in a lovely frame. Good balance through the corner as she comes into the extended trot. Tracking up well. Could have maybe a little bit more for some higher marks. Just a little correction there in the corner making sure that Aperol stays in front of her leg. Nice reach here in the half pass. Fairly fluent. Could maybe just have a little more self-carriage. Slightly early into the halt. A little bit fidgety as well. You want to see a lovely direct transition on the marker for the best marks possible. Nice here though in the extended trot. And a good transition into the passage. So nice lift. Jess needs to keep that coming into the PF. Nice there in the frame. Just needs to maintain that activity and the lift in the PF. Good transition down into the walk. I'd like to see a bit more relaxation here. It just seems a little quick. He needs to let go over his back. And that would just mean that they could have a bit more ground cover. Really consistent through the frame. Again, the walk just could be a little more clear in the collected walk. And again, that just comes from the lack of relaxation there. And a 
again lovely in the passage but then some problems coming into the PF. Well recovered from Julianne there in the PF. Unfortunately of course they will have to be marked down. A 7.1 average mark for the passage and a 2.2 there for the PF. Nice and uphill into the canter. Coming into the two time changes. Lots of suspension. Really nice big changes. A little bit of swaying could be straighter especially to the left. Some lovely steps there in the extended canter. Really nice and straight through that line. Now then, it, it's getting that balance before you come into this canter zigzag. Just lost the balance slightly there in that second from last change, but she recovered well. Could just have seen a little bit more bend through the body in the half passes. Looking very secure in these one time changes. Really nice ground cover in these. Beautifully forward on the diagonal line. Unfortunately, they did have a mistake. So that will, of course, pull their mark down but apart from that they were really super nice in the canter pirouette it started a little bit on the large side yeah better there in the pirouette to the right Really good through the extended trot. Now lovely here in the passage. Really needs to think about that transition coming into the PF now at X. Keeping that activity, she might choose to ride it a little bit traveling given the situation in the second PF. Yeah, she does much better. You know, still not going to be scoring the sevens and the eights that she maybe would like to in the PF, but much better than the ones and twos that she was probably scoring for that one where she had the resistance in the middle. A lovely job from... Julianne Brockenhorst and Aperol are first to go for Germany. Unfortunately, a couple of mistakes there that will be holding her back from the really high marks. But some lovely, lovely work through the test. Now we can watch the highlights. Of course, they had that mistake in the middle PF, which we might be able to see in a moment just losing a bit of the activity there that's the first pf just the activity lost coming into the pf there and then of course the mistake in the one time changes as well those few mistakes have pulled her score down but some really lovely work the changes looking really secure Really nice and forward through the changes. Starting a little large in the canter pirouettes, but then condensing those down and really getting that collection. Could have done with a bit more relaxation in the walk. And the score is in at 65.848. Scores ranging from 63.37 up to 66, sorry, 67.5.
A superstar for this combination. Not quite up there with her personal bests. A few mistakes holding her back today, but I'm sure she'll come back stronger in the freestyle tomorrow. Some really, really lovely extended trots. That was definitely a highlight. Really good through the extended canter as well and just looks like a really lovely, contented horse. Very happy in his work. Okay, we'll be hearing from Julianne as well by the sounds of things. There we have it for Julianne Brockenhorst and Aperol for Germany. Our first combination into the arena. Don't forget, as I said, you can download the Spectator Judging app to judge along with our expert panel of judges, being with a chance of winning some prizes. Next up, though, we have a combination for Belgium. It is Laurence Ruse, and she is riding Phil Rouge, a 19-year-old stallion of Belgian warm blood. This is a combination from the Tokyo Olympic Games. He finished 23rd with just over 70%. They're a long-standing partnership that have come up together through the youth classes and represented Belgium at under 25 Grand Prix at the Europeans, as well as two senior Europeans, a World Championships and, of course, Tokyo Olympics. Their first World Cup appearance was back in Mechlin in 2019, so it is great to have them back. Last time out was in Cronenberg CDI three star in July, where they finished 17th in the Grand Prix with 69 and fourth in the freestyle with 72.6. So, in for Belgium now, it is Laurence Ruse and Ferrouge. Of course, no halt there to begin with. Phil Rouge is definitely keen to get going. It's not going to be the start that she would have wanted. And there in the extended trot, you'd just like to see some more relaxation from the horse and more swinging back so he's able to really track up in the extended trot and lengthen that frame. Some good reach here in the half pass, but again, would like to see a bit more relaxation. Lacking a bit of bend to the right, slightly better here in the half pass to the left. Brakes were working, but he definitely doesn't want to show his halts today. Yeah, too much tension there and the halt rein back for the big marks. But 
showing his capability in the PF, that's for sure. And again there, the same in the extended trot. Would like to see that frame lengthen and the softness come over the back. As I said earlier on, it's a really, really big atmosphere here and you can see there's no space even around the outside between the, the audience and the white board. So it really, really does feel like the audience are on top of you in this arena. And hopefully Lawrence can really give this horse confidence so that tomorrow, fingers crossed, they can get a place into the freestyle. They might be able to come back feeling more confident and more relaxed. Again, here the same in the walk. You can see that he's just wanting to break into the trot. Better in the extended walk than in the collective walk here. Yeah, no real collective walk shown. And you can see how much of an impact that has on the scores. Extended walk 5.2 and 2.8 for the collected walk. Nice here in the PF. Some good lift in the PF. Much more on the spot than the first one. Oh, some difficulties in the canter transition. now. Lawrence doing a really good job of keeping everything as together as she can. Yeah, well ridden there. You could see that he was just getting quite strong. All really nice, correct changes, but just needs to get that relaxation. She really went for that, didn't she? Again, you'd like to see the frame extend a bit in the extended canter. Just feels like he's pulling and is quite strong in the hand today. You know, this combination have been together for such a long time. She's ridden at so many championships with this horse. They know each other very, very well. Good one-time changes. Nice ground cover. Again, all very correct, but can just do with being softer over the back into a slightly more open frame. Nice into the canter pirouette. Very well centered. Just lacking a little bit of jump in the canter pirouette to the right. I think Lawrence is doing a brilliant job of just trying to keep him as relaxed as possible in this environment. Scores just crept up to above 60. Some really nice lift, good rhythm here in the passage. Quite a bit of traveling there in the PF. Definitely needs to be sitting more in those. But 
there we have it for Lawrence Ruse and Phil Rouge for Belgium. She definitely had her hands full through that test. I think she did a great job of getting through it and not really having too many major mistakes. It was just the tension throughout the test. Even here, you can see he's not quite able to take a breath at the end of the test. Just a bit too much excitement in Phil Rouge's world today. And that just impacted the whole test as a whole. But, you know, really good through the two lines of flying changes. Very, very accurate through those. Just generally throughout the whole test, you'd like to see him more over the back, much more relaxation. Of course, they didn't get to any of the halts, which would have been very, very expensive. He'd pee after the whole way through the halts before the rain back. But some sevens, I'm sure, would have prepped through, especially for the passage work. Really nice in the rhythm. nice through the canter pirouettes as well just generally again as I said before you'd like to see more relaxation and the ability to just open that frame a little bit more and the score is in it is 61.478 percent scores ranging from 59.565 up to 62.935 So we move on now to our third combination. It is Ingrid Klimka and First Class 92. This lady needs no introduction. She's an equestrian legend. She's won 10 golds, four silvers and two bronze medals during her eventing career, but also, like her father, competes in international dressage. This is a new partnership at this level. They competed in their first International Grand Prix in August last year, finishing fourth with just over 70%. Their last time out was Frankfurt CDI Five Star, where they finished third in the Grand Prix with 70.8 and seventh in the Special with 68.4. This will be their fourth international and their first freestyle together as she makes it through to the freestyle tomorrow. Last year, Ingrid campaigned Franziskus FRH, her team bronze medal winning world championship ride. They won two World Cups and enjoyed many podium spots in the World Cup qualifiers last season and finished fourth at the Omaha World Cup finals in April last year with 75.5%. It is Ingrid Klimka and first class 92 for Germany. A lovely halt to start. Really super balance. Really lovely through the extended trot, tracking up well. Could maybe have been a little more uphill. Good reach. Quite unsteady there in the contact. You'd like to see the contact much more fluent and stable to the bend. Just see at times a little tilt creeping through. Beautiful halt. Nice there in the rain back. Yeah, again, nice through the extended trot. Could have a little bit more push from the hind leg, being super critical. Needs to watch the rhythm there in the passage. Yeah, just losing a bit of the fluency 
Oh yeah. And again, the rhythm there behind in the passage needs to be much more even. Good relaxation here in the walk though. Super ground cover, really nicely swinging over the back in the walk. Great relaxation. Really, really well ridden. I don't really know what more you would want from that extended walk. It's difficult though when these horses have these big overtracks to be able to keep the rhythm in the extended walk, in the collected walk, sorry. And you could see that there when she shortens the walk, it does affect the rhythm slightly. I have to be really careful that it doesn't go lateral. Losing a bit of the straightness through the PF. The balance just goes a bit onto the shoulders and they sometimes lose the diagonal pairs in the PF. It's definitely something that, uh, that they're going to want to work on for the future because that's just where they're losing a few marks at the moment. Big changes. Really super ground cover in those. Looking very, very secure. And again, they're good through the extended canter. Really nice in the frame. I think the judges would just generally like to see this canter slightly more uphill. Again, the same as in the trot half pass. I'd like to see more suppleness to the bend through the canter zigzag. A little mistake in one of the changes where he was a little late behind, but good into these one times. Oh, oh, that's a shame. Another mistake in the middle of the ones Flying changes themselves, they're really nice. Super ground cover. Great preparation coming into the canter pirouette. Again, lovely collection in the canter as she prepares for the canter pirouette really well corrected there you could see that he just got a little bit tight over the back in the first step and then she just used the, the bend there and rebalanced to get him round her inside leg great correction through the movement from Ingrid really showing her experience Coming down the final centre line now. Needs to watch the rhythm in this passage. Much better here. Yeah, they get some fairly nice lift in the PF itself. It just loses the fluency. Need to be careful of the rhythm, as I said. And a super square halt to finish. Three beautiful halts in this test. Really not throwing away any marks there. A really, really lovely test from Ingrid. Only their fourth international together. Great to see Ingrid back out on the World Cup circuit. Some really lovely work through the test today. As I said, three super halts in the beginning, the middle and the end. And you can pick up so many valuable marks through those. 
good in the can to work really nice and secure through the changes. I would have liked to have seen more suppleness to the bend in both the trot and the can to half passes. And of course, the rhythm in the Piaf and the Passage also affected those transitions, just lost some of the fluency. You know, they've got all of the ingredients there for the Piaf and the Passage. It just needs to become a little bit more balanced, a little bit more secure and in better rhythm but super straight changes there in the two time changes of course they had the mistake in the ones which will pull their mark down really good through the counter pirouettes I think generally if they can just aim for a bit more of the uphill tendency through the counter really really lovely well centered counter pirouettes but if they could be a bit more uphill she'd just get that one more mark per movement and the score is in. It is 68% and into the lead. Scores ranging from 65.87. He said scores ranging from 65.87 up to 69.13. So Ingrid into the lead there with 68%. So next into the arena is another combination for Germany. It is Fabian muller Lukmeyer, and she is riding Valesco 50. 13-year-old Westphalian gelding by Vitalis. A long-standing partnership. They came up through International Small Tour. Started at Grand Prix in 2021 with a double win in Arc and CDI four-star with scores up to 77%. Last time out, though, they were in hot company at the Cronenberg CDI three-star in December, where they finished seventh in the Grand Prix with 70.7 and fifth in the special with 71%. This is Fabienne's second World Cup qualifier after competing in Stuttgart in November with her other ride, Valencia AS, finishing 12th in the Grand Prix with 70.5 and 7th in the freestyle with 79.1. Fabienne is a multi-medalist from both youth championships and senior championships, having won seven golds and four silver medals. She was part of the 2014 World Championships and 2013 European Championship gold medal winning team for Germany. So into the arena it is Fabian muller Lugmeier and Valesco 50 for Germany. A nice halt, just slightly progressive transition coming in. Slightly reserved in the extended trot, needs much more there from the hind leg. through the body in the half pass to the right it's lost a bit of balance coming around the corner into the half pass but really well corrected from Fabienne nice and parallel through the half passes just losing a bit of bend to the left nice halt could have established that more now, the judges would like to see three seconds in a halt. Better there in this second extended trot. Still would have liked to have seen more from behind, but definitely better than the first one. Lovely lift here in the passage.
Yeah, some good lift again there in the PF. Was slightly travelling. Just lost activity. It was it was slightly in two halves. Needs to also make sure that she keeps the diagonal in the PF. Really good here in the walk. Lovely relaxation. And again, a huge overtrack. Last two horses we've seen. Really, really super walks from really nicely walking over his back. Good from the horse there. Big noise from the outside. And like I said, with Ingrid's horse, really difficult when these horses do have such big walks to keep the rhythm in the collected walk. And unfortunately, they lost that today. And a little miscommunication into the passage, just a little bit late off her aids. Much better on the spot there, though, in this second PF. Good there in the passage. Much better in the rhythm there in that PF Passage Tour. So coming now into the two time changes. Really nice elasticity. Great jump in the canter. really nice through the two times yeah and a great risk shown there in the extended canter great energy through those two lines yeah an eight average score for the two time tempes oh slightly late there into the change in the half passes much better there in the change to the left, just slightly late in those changes to the right. Now coming into the ones. Again, really super through the changes, could maybe just have a bit more self-carriage She comes into the counter pirouettes now. Yeah, just losing a bit of the activity and therefore it showed as a bit of climbing. I'd like to see more balance through those. It's difficult when they lose the activity. It's really easy to overturn in the canter pirouette, and that's what's happened a little bit in both. So needs to be really careful of the balance. Nice in the frame in the extended trot. Again, just needs a bit more pushing power from the hind leg. Good here in the rhythm and the passage. Really nice lift. Yeah, a bit traveling, but actually I would say that that's probably their best PF of the test. Much more fluent transitions there from this pair. A really super job. It's nice to see them growing through the test and improving. It's Fabienne Müller, Lukmaier and Valesco 50 for Germany. Some really nice scores coming through. 7.7 for the final passage and 7.5 for that final halt on the centre line. Some lovely harmony between these two. Some 
wonderful lift through the Piaf Passage. Again, coming into those changes, lovely ground cover, really secure through both lines, the twos and the ones. The horse really nicely on the aids. And that was the middle Piaf. Just needed to keep the rhythm better there in the second half of the Piaf. It was just a little bit slow to develop and a lovely transition back into the passage. Just slightly lost the balance in these canter pirouettes. That's a good reach through the extended trots. Just would have liked to have seen a bit more push from the hind leg there. But a super job from Fabienne. It is a 69.217 and into the lead. So as I was saying, she is into the lead with scores ranging from 68.261 up to 70.87. So she's on 69.217 and into the lead. Two more to go before we go into a break. Next up, it is a rider for Austria. It is Katharina Haas and Let It Be NRW, 14-year-old mare. A long-standing partnership that started at International Small Tour together in 2018. They started under 25 Grand Prix in 2019 and Senior Grand Prix in 2020. This is their third World Cup qualifier this season. They competed in Stuttgart in November, finishing 17th in the Grand Prix with 67, unfortunately not qualifying through to the freestyle. They also competed at the Central European League Samarin last summer, where they finished third in the Grand Prix with 67.2. It is Austria's Katharina Haas and Let It Be NRW. Not quite square in that first halt. Some good steps in the extended trot, showing a clear difference. Could maybe just be a little bit more engaged for some higher marks. Slightly hurried. Good positioning here in the half pass. Really nice reach. Very secure in the contact. that a tilt doesn't come through here in a half pass to the left. A good halt, slightly early. I'd like to see the rider's body on the marker. Dropped the pole a little bit in the rain back steps. Really lovely there in the frame. Activity and the passage just not quite keeping that engagement in the transitions into and out of the PF didn't seem to quite be enough steps either in the PF you want to see 12 to 15 steps I think I only counted eight really good here in the walk again really super ground cover good relaxation Nice stretch through the extended walk. A 
and good in the collected walk. Kept the rhythm really nicely through that. Needs to make sure that she has enough steps. Still traveling slightly there. Definitely had enough steps this time. It's just the transition into the PF where she loses that activity and then has to work really hard in the PF to get that activity back. Lovely and straight through the two time changes, really using that diagonal line. Really nice, correct line of changes. Of course, just getting a little bit on her hand through those two lines. You can see the horse just opening his mouth slightly as she comes round the corner. Yeah, nice line there, but unfortunately he's just a bit against the hand. You can see his mouth opening a bit. You just want to see that weight come more on the hind leg into a more secure contact. And that's when the mistakes creep in. What a shame. Now she's going to have to really work on that contact coming through into these canter pirouettes. Yeah, quite large. Needs to really think about the preparation coming into these canter pirouettes and really get him back on the hind leg. Yeah, you can just see that that was quite difficult for him to keep the balance. He lost the canter towards the end of the canter pirouette to the right. center line now great energy here in the passage really nice lift now yeah slightly better there coming into the pf just one step where they lost the activity better fluency and lovely and uphill there in the passage coming into that final halt and it's a lovely square one for Katharina Haas and Let It Be NRW. Our only competitor for Austria. Nice and consistent through the test. Some really nice work. Lovely in the changes. Just for me, generally, I would have liked to have seen him in better balance. He was slightly on the hand, especially in the canter work, and you could see that with a bit of an open mouth. But some lovely lift in the passage. Unfortunately, they, of course, had that mistake in the one-time changes. The first PF was slightly brief. I only counted eight steps. It's meant to be 12 to 15. So really needs to be careful on her accuracy, but really lovely there through the two time changes. Coming into those canter pirouettes, could have just had a bit more preparation. It's slightly large there, you can see. Like to see those canter pirouettes much more centered. And scores coming in, it's 65.935. And into third place, scores ranging from 65.543 up to 
Alberto. Thank you to Katharina Haas and Let It Be NRW. She goes into third place with 65.935%. One more rider to go before we take a short break. 17 combinations coming forward in today's Grand Prix. And next up, we have a rider for Korea. It's Hyun Woo Do. And he is riding Doisenberg, a 15 year old Hanoverian gelding by Desperados. A very new partnership. Hyun Wood took the ride in October last year from previous rider Jessica Seuss. They made their debut in Lee Warden, CDI three star, where they finished 20th with 64.6 in the Grand Prix and 8th in the special 66.5. They then headed to Frankfurt in December where they finished 12th in the Grand Prix with 68. This is Hyun Wood's third ever international, their first ever freestyle and first ever World Cup qualifier, and he's just 22 years old. He's based with Hedden Lanahanna Burke and has his eyes firmly on a place for the Paris Olympics this year. It is Hyun Woo Du and Doisenberg. Square in that first halt. A lovely move off. This horse has plenty of talent, a lot of experience under his belt. These two are just learning about each other. Some nice steps in the extended trot. Just need to keep that pole up at the highest point. Lovely reach in this half pass. Very, very active in the trot work. Just needs to bear in mind that these half passes are in collected trot. And again, another rider that really needs to think about how long they're halting for. It's meant to be three seconds and didn't really see much immobility there. Lovely transition into the PF. Could just be a little bit more under behind, show a little bit more sitting in the PF. Good relaxation here in the walk. Lovely stretch. Tracking up well in the extended walk. For the bigger marks, the judges would just like to see a bit more ground cover, but really lovely relaxation. Just losing the activity there into the passage. Well recovered. Very, very well recovered. Good riding from Hyun Wu.
person straight coming into the two. Oh, that's a shame. Just a few too many mistakes there. <laughs> I think uh, Doisenberg had other ideas in that diagonal line. He was ready for the one tempies already. Some good ground cover. Again, the same as in the trot, just a bit too low in the pole. The pole needs to be at the highest point. Again, we've got to bear in mind, this is only their fourth international together and Hyon is only 22 years old. So a very, very new partnership, very inexperienced rider looking to develop and hopefully take him to the Olympics. He's much more self-carriage through that canter zigzag. But again, all the principles are there. Again, good in the one-time changes, just too deep in the neck and he's much better balanced generally. Good preparation for the canter pirouette. Using a little bit of the jump in the canter through the canter pirouette. And again, that will come some mistakes there coming into the canterparette and that canterparette not quite on the right marker meant to be at I that's the marker for the special it's actually pretty much ridden special line actually activity here in the trot work it needs to be a bit more collected there in the passage we did well to get that transition actually yeah some nice steps there in the PF just needs to sit a little bit more and come up in the pole just generally would like to see more balance but I think high on world has done a great job, as I say, their fourth international ever together. Definitely one that's going to be developed and in such a big atmosphere here in Neumünster. I think he's done a very, very good job. Just 22 years old, this rider. And there's so much here to like. As I said, all of the ingredients, all of the principles are there. Just needs generally better balance. And then they just need to develop as more of a partnership. Some really, really lovely steps. Great preparation for that canter pirouette. Just generally the self-carriage could be better. And a few mistakes creeping in. Of course, they had those one tempies down the centre line. And the two times were more like one time tempies. But a really lovely, relaxed horse. And I think that they're going to be able to definitely grow from this experience. 63.956% into fifth place. Scores ranging from 62.826 up to 64.7. Thank you very much, 
Haiwan Wu Du is very happy with his performance today. And here are the official results so far. Fabienne Muller, Lukmaier and Valesko for Germany in the lead, 69.217. Ingrid Klimke in second with 68%. And Karina Haas and Let It Be NRW for Austria in third place with 65.935. As we head into a short break now, join us back in around 15 minutes. The next combination into the arena is coming in at 10.15 Central European time, 9.15 British time. So make sure you join us back in a few moments' time for part two of this Western European League World Cup qualifier here in Neumünster.
Hello and welcome back to part two of this ninth leg of the Western European League here in Neumünster, Germany. We have had part one and you join us for part two. Make sure you download the Spectator Judging app to join in with our expert panel of judges and see how you fare in this class. You can be in the chance of winning some prizes as well. Our spectators have been pretty close to our judges so far this morning. So six competitors have already come forward. 17 in total coming forward for this Grand Prix. Our judges are in situ and the spectators are heading back to their seats after that break. We have five competitors coming forward in part two and then we'll be having another short break before part three. Next combination are due back in the arena at 10.15, so in just a few moments' time, but here they come. Here is the start list. Marie van der Putten coming in next. Maria Karakosa, Bianca Nowak, Olenbrook, Matthias Alexander Rath, Raphael Netz, Emily Schultens. So that is our start list, our final competitor coming forward. At 12 o'clock, it seems we've actually had a withdrawal. I had Patrick Kittle down on my start list, so I'll try and find out and see if he has, in fact, withdrawn. But we turn our focus to the next combination. It is Germany's Antonia von Dungeren, and she is riding DSP at Queen Rubin, a 13-year-old mare. A relatively new partnership at International Grand Prix with only seven starts under their belt so far. They've had so good success with mostly top ten finishes. Last time out they competed at the Central European League's Rolklaw in October where they finished third in the Grand Prix and freestyle with 69.8 and 75.4, their freestyle personal best. They also competed in Brno where they picked up some points finishing third in the Grand Prix with 69.7 and second in the freestyle with 74.6. The score to beat so far is 69.217. That is Fabian Müller-Luckmeyer and Valesco 50. So into the arena now it is Antonia von Dungerden and DSP Queen Rubin. Square halt. Good energy in the trot. Really wonderful activity. Some good steps in the extended trot and around the corner coming into this half pass. Just slightly unsteady in the contact. Just needed slightly better balance through that line. Lost the fluency better here in the half pass to the left. Really nice bend through the body. Really lovely and supple. 
good halt. Tracking up well through the extended trot. Just needs to be careful that it doesn't get a little quick in that. Losing a bit of the activity through the PF could have been a little bit more on the hind legs in the passage and then of course just into the PF lost the diagonal pairs needed a bit more sitting good relaxation here though in the walk nicely tracking up could do with some more ground cover for the bigger marks in the walk taking a good stretch down and out though Losing a bit of the shoulder freedom here in the collected walk. Really nice there in the passage. And again, losing the diagonal pairs in the PF could have been more on the spot nicely on the aids up into canter very forward in these two time changes really covering the ground using that whole diagonal line second change was slightly late behind good risk taken there in the extended canter finished very early though you'd like to see that extended canter go all the way to k she started off really well and then it faded very quickly. Again, a few counting mistakes there through the half passes. You need to see three steps then six steps and then a change, six steps and a change. So a few too many mistakes through that line good in the ones though yeah lost a lot of marks for the zigzag 4.6 average mark lost the bend through the canter pirouette So much better there to start with. Yeah, just losing the suppleness to the bend through the canter pirouettes. The second pirouette, much more centered though. Really good steps through the extended trot. Really nice and forward through the trot work. Good lift here in the passage. They need to maintain that activity and the fluency into the transition. Look at those diagonal pairs. Are they working together? I'm thinking if we could just get a little softer over the back in the PF, that would really help the swing over the back, super square hole to finish. Really, really lovely job from this pair. Some great work in the massage. Yeah. 
some nice, nice work in this test. For me, I would have just liked to have seen him a little softer and more supple over the back. And that really showed up in the half passes in both the trot and the canter. And of course, in those canter pirouettes, actually, especially in those canter pirouettes, the first canter pirouette, he was almost slightly bent to the outside. So really, really needs to watch that. Also needed to watch the accuracy through the canter zigzag, but really super through the two lines of tempi changes, nice and forward, plenty of lift and jump in the canter through that line there. Really nice through the passage as well, plenty of activity in the trot work. A highlight was definitely those extended trots as well, all three of them picking up good average marks from the judges. As I said, just needs to watch the accuracy through the canter zigzag. Scores coming in. It's a 67.674. And into third place, scores ranging very, very consistent from our judges from 66.9 up to 68.3. So there we have it for Antonia von Dungeren and DSP Queen Ruben. They go into third place, 67.674. It was an early start for our audience. This class started at nine o'clock this morning. But next into the arena, it is our first combination for the Netherlands. Marik van der Putten and Torvaletten's Titanium RS2 NOP. 12-year-old Danish warm blood gelding by Totalus. Together, this pair competed at the 2022 World Championships, finishing 31st in the Grand Prix with 71.1. Last year, they were regulars on the World Cup circuit and competed at the finals in April last year in Omaha, where they finished 8th in the Grand Prix with 70.7. This is their third qualifier this season after they competed in Stuttgart, finishing 14th in the Grand Prix with 69.8, shot up to 9th in the freestyle with 78%. They then competed in Amsterdam just a few weeks ago, where they were 13th in the Grand Prix with 70.6 and 7th in the freestyle with 79.7. So it is Marit van der Putten and Torvaletten's Titanium RS2 NOP for the Netherlands. Oh, that's a shame, just leaving that left hind leg out in that first halt. Just like to see the engagement come through in those halts. to watch the rhythm. Yeah, it was slightly unclear at the beginning. We could have just done with a little bit more push from the hind legs, but she did a good job of recovering from slightly unbalanced start. Good reach here in the half pass. Could just be more supple to the bend. A bit more bend here to the left. Oh, a little spook in the corner. 
Lots of early halts at sea. That's a shame. Not enough steps rain back. Dropped the pole in the rain back as well and just hurried in the steps. Lost the balance. One stride in the middle there of the extended trot. Lovely here, though, in the passage. Really clear in the rhythm. Good transition into the PF. Keeping that activity nicely. Really, really well ridden. Lovely transitions. If we're being picky, they could be a little bit more relaxed. But... Really lovely fluency through those. Again, here in the walk, would like to see more relaxation over the back and the horse really being able to take that stretch out a little bit more. When the horses are just a little bit tight in the walk, it affects their ground cover and their over track and you could see that quite clearly there they can really relax and swing over their backs that's when you get the good marks like we saw, saw earlier on in the com competition super lift in the passage and great fluency in that transition really keeping the activity nicely on the spot in the PF Good transition up into the canter. Nice jump here in the canter. Already actually seems more relaxed in the canter work. So good two time changes. But what the riders really need to think about is riding those changes over the middle of the diagonal line. You could see there they finished very early. So you want to get that middle change right over X. So they're really well placed on the diagonal line. same as in the trot I'd like to see a bit more suppleness to the bend here in the canter half passes they lost the balance in one of those early changes Again, there in the one time changes, finishing very early. So, if she just started a little bit later or have more ground cover, which would obviously be the ideal situation, then they would be better placed on that diagonal line. Really nice size in the canter pirouette. Really well centered. Better balance there in the canter pirouette to the right. Picking up seven for the canter pirouette to the left. Oh, that's a shame. Again, losing the balance and the rhythm. 
halfway through the extended trot. They haven't been her strongest point today, having a few issues in every single extended trot. Hopefully tomorrow, if they can get through to the freestyle, which from this score they should do, hopefully they can come in with a bit more relaxation. Lovely there in the PF. Oh, just a bit of tension just creeping in there. He just slightly came back at her. You can see him drawing back a little down this final center line. Marik doing a really good job of giving him confidence. A lovely halt to finish with. Some really super work through the test. Just a bit of tension creeping in today, which is a real shame. I'd like to have seen much more relaxation through the test. I think, as I said, tomorrow, hopefully she can come back with a bit more confidence tomorrow. It's such a big atmosphere here in this arena. You can only really feel that when you're there and in that atmosphere. Some really super transitions from the Passage to the PF. Really fluent, beautifully straight in those lines of tempi changes. Could just have had better placement in both of those lines. Just feel like today she didn't get that relaxation that we've seen previously from this pair. And that just affected a few too many of the movements today. There you can see in the one-time changes, just not quite getting that ground cover that we know that they're capable of. So the score is in. It is 70.717 and into the lead. Scores ranging from 69.13 up to 72.609. just recognizing that there was a little bit of tension in their test today like she said such a huge atmosphere here in this arena just a few times where they lost the balance and of course the rhythm there in the extended trots but a really good job very well ridden very well managed from Marik van der Putsen. so into the lead with 70.717% Next up, we have our combination from Denmark. It is Nadja Abotsloff and Favor Gerstoff, an 11-year-old Danish warm blood gelding by foundation. This is their third World Cup of the season after they competed in the opening leg back in October in Herning. They finished 12th in the Grand Prix with 69.3 and 13th in the freestyle with 74.17. They last... The last time out was in Mechlin, where they were ninth in the Grand Prix and freestyle with 71 and 77. That was their freestyle personal best, in fact. They also competed in the Cronenberg CDI three-star, where they finished eighth in the Grand Prix with just over 70% in hot company at the end of last year. So it is Nadja Abosloth and Favor Gustorf for Denmark. Really super engagement in that first halt. 
Lovely and uphill in the move off. nice steps there in the extended trot could just have opened the frame a little bit more nice and uphill here in the half pass super reach just needs to be careful that at times it doesn't look a little hurried Lovely and accurate to the halt and a super square halt. Nice steps in the rain back as well. Very, very well ridden. Yeah, better this time in the extended trot. Could have had more swing over the back. But the first one was a little bit progressive this time. She really went from it from the start. And a good transition back into the passage. Nicely on the spot there in the PF. Some good lift. Could have had a little bit more lift behind to match with the lift in front. Good relaxation coming into the walk. Needs to be sure to take that contact and that stretch down and out. It's tracking up, but could have some more ground cover for a bigger mark. Again, it was slightly slow to develop. Good in the rhythm, in the walk. Lovely and active in the passage. And that's carried through into the PF again, really nicely on the spot. Good fluent transitions. Was really nice and attentive to his rider's aids. Nice in the two time changes, beautifully straight. Just could have been a bit more over the back. Just looked a little bit tight over the back through those two time changes. Better there in the extended canter. Really good risk shown as well. Yeah, fairly nice through the canter zigzag, but again, would have liked to have seen him softer over the back in slightly better balance. Started those one times quite early. Just to make sure that she can carry that through with the ground cover to the end. Yeah, fairly nice ground cover in the ones. Again, needs to be more through and over the back. Right now, collect, collect, collect. Yeah, for me, I would have liked to have seen more collection coming into the canter pirouette there. I think she just gave a little half halt before she went into it. I think she, she could really, really ride him from the hind leg coming into those canter pirouettes to get better balance and more sitting. Oh, 
that's the thing in this Grand Prix test is, well, in any test is all about the preparation and these movements come around so quickly. You really, really have to have the horse nicely on the aids. Really good in the rhythm and the passage. Yeah, super lift in the PF. Definitely a highlight from this combination today. And there we have it for Neja Abosloth and Favor Gerstorf for Denmark. A huge round of applause from our audience. Probably one of the first mistake free tests we've seen. Really, really super job from this combination. Just for me, I would have liked to have seen the horse a bit more over the back, a little bit more supple to the bend. She could have ridden with a bit more preparation into some of the movements. But three lovely halts, really super in the halt rein back really good through the PF passage especially those transitions the PF had lovely lift really great fluency through the transitions ridden nice and actively good in the two lines of tempi changes really lovely ground cover through those just for me through the canter zigzag and through the trot half passes I would have liked to have seen more suppleness and as I said, the horse could have been more over the back, especially in the canter work. But she goes into the lead at 71.478%. Scores ranging from 69.348 up to 73.043. So our new leader, Naja Abod Sloth and Faber Gustor for Denmark, a personal best score of 71.478% and into the lead. So next up, a combination for Spain. It is Boya Caracosa and Sir Hubert NRW, an 11-year-old Westphalian gelding by Sir Heinrich. This pair have been very busy already this year. This is their third qualifier of 2024. They had great success in Basel, where they had top 10 finishes, 10th in the Grand Prix with 69.1 and 7th in the Freestyle with 76. In Amsterdam just a few weeks ago, they finished 14th on both days with 70.5 in the Grand Prix and 75.2 in the Freestyle. They started at Grand Prix last year. They had a great start in Samarin CDI 3-star, taking a double win in the Grand Prix and Special. The score's up to 71.5. And in October last year, they headed to the Royal Claw World Cup qualifier in the Central European League and finished second in the Grand Prix with 69.8 and fourth in the freestyle. So, into the arena now for Spain, Boya Caracosa and Sir Hubert NRW. Unfortunately, was resting the right hind in the halt.
lovely expression in the trot work. just see a bit more pushing power from the hind leg in the extended trot really nice and uphill super reach in the half pass just needs to watch the balance and the fluidity through these half passes. there in the frame lengthening the frame as well as the stride unfortunately just lost a bit of activity there in the PF a couple of steps with a bit of tension behind Nice relaxation here into the walk. Good activity. Could just have a little bit more ground cover for a bigger mark. But really good in the stretch. and attentive to the aids in the transition up to Passage. Better fluency into the transition into the PF. Just losing a bit of the rhythm in the PF there at I. Begin much better fluency in the transitions that time. Nice changes in the line of twos. A little bit of a sway, so the judges would like to see a lovely straight line in both lines of tempi changes. Nice wrist there though in the extended canter and again really lengthening that frame in the extended canter. Nice balance through this canter zigzag. Unfortunately, just a little mistake there towards the end. That's a real pity. It was just short behind in that final change. That would, of course, pull their overall mark down for that line. Lovely and active in the one time changes. Good preparation coming into the canter pirouette there. Yeah, good through the bend, really nice jump through the canter in the canter pirouette. 
nicely centered. Yeah, very well ridden through both canter pirouettes. Really nice in the balance. Seven point five average mark for the pirouette to the right. It just gives him an overall boost. Of course, the pirouettes are a double coefficient as well. Again, super lift through the passage. Just at times needs to watch the rhythm. Again, better fluency, slightly swaying here coming out of the PF. And a super halt to finish for Boya Cabacosa and Sir Hubert NRW. This horse just 11 years old, already had a great start to this season. This is their third World Cup qualifier of this year. It's a really lovely work through the test. Just a couple of mistakes just creeping in. You can see at the end of the canter zigzag, they had one change that was slightly short behind. What I loved was the PF and the Passage progressed through the test. It got better. The fluency was better. Just at times, you could see there just a couple of steps where they lost the rhythm. Some really good flying changes could just be a little more balanced, a little straighter through those, but really nice ground cover. What I really, really loved though was these canter pirouettes, really super preparation going into the canter pirouettes, which then allowed them to have the balance through them, to keep that jump through the canter pirouette, to keep them really nice and centered. You can see this horse has plenty of talent for the Piaf Passage. Just as he gets stronger, he'll be able to develop that even more and develop better balance. So it is a 70.13 and into third place for Boya Caracosa. Scores ranging from 69.239 up to 71.087. So next up, it is another combination for Belgium. It is Charlotte de Falk and Botticelli, an 18-year-old KWPN stallion by Vivaldi. A long-standing partnership. They've been together through junior and young rider classes. And in 2022, they made their senior championship debut at the World Championships. In Herning, they finished 60th in the Grand Prix with 68.354%. This is their fourth World Cup qualifier. In Stuttgart, they finished 10th with 70.7 in the Grand Prix and 8th in the freestyle. Then they headed to Mecklen, where they climbed even higher with an eighth in the Grand Prix with 71.5 and sixth in the freestyle with 78.9, both new personal bests. Last time out, though, was a couple of weeks in Amsterdam, where they finished 11th in the Grand Prix with 70.7 and ninth in the freestyle with 76.7. So it is Charlotte de Falk for Belgium riding Botticelli. Not quite square in that first halt. Nice uphill move off. Of course, it's very light footed.
plenty of reach in the extended trot. Just could do with a bit more length in the frame. You want to really see the frame lengthen as well as the stride in the extended trot. And that just enables them to track up as well. Some nice reach in the half pass. Just for me, I'd like to see a bit more suppleness to the bend. Oh. Actually ended up being a fairly nice halt, but not much preparation going into the halt. Good steps in the rain back. tracked up slightly better there in that second extended trot but again would like to see more lengthening of the frame and more over the back to allow that over track super lift in the PF fairly nice fluency as well in the transitions Just needs to be careful that at times it doesn't appear a little hurried. Really super into the walk. Good stretch. Good over track. Really keeping that march in the walk. there in the collected walk again really good in the rhythm nice and attentive transition again super lift there in the PF the transition seems smoother and more fluent coming out of the PF than going into it and I think if she could just get a little bit more engagement in the passage before she asks for the PF that would just help the fluidity of that movement some big flying changes again the horse just drawing back slightly in the contact you'd like to see the the pole at the highest point which she definitely has but a little softer over the back again enormous ground cover there in the extended canter but the same as in the extended trot, you want to see that frame lengthen and the horse really work nicely over the back. Fairly nice through the canter zigzag. Again, just coming back to the fact that I'd like to see it a little bit more open in the frame and a bit more over the back. Really good in the one-time changes. Very, very secure in those. Right now, prepare for these canter pirouettes. Get him on the hind leg. Yeah, good activity. Needs to keep the jump in the canter through the canter pirouette.
Yeah, better jump through the canter pirouette to the right. Really nice, neat, tidy canter pirouettes. Oh, oh, what a shame. Just lost the rhythm at the end there and broke into canter. That's a real pity. Recovered very well, though. 5.7 average mark for the extended trot. Better transition into the PF this time. Was traveling slightly there, though. Like to see the PF more on the spot. But lovely and uphill down this final center line. And into their final halt, it is Charlotte de Falk and Botticelli for Belgium. A very, very talented horse, very talented rider, great partnership. They've been together for a long time. Some really, really lovely work through the Piaf Massage today. Just at times lost the fluency going into the Piaf, much better in the transition coming out, but you can see there, really lovely lift, keeping the rhythm. Just generally in the canter, I'd have liked to have seen him slightly more over the back, but really super talented in those flying changes. Lovely ground cover through those. Unfortunately, they had that mistake, of course, at the end in the extended trot where he broke into the canter. Really good control through those canter pirouettes. So we wait for the score to come through now. It is a 71.391 into second place, just short of their personal best. Scores ranging from 70.217 up to 72.935. So into seconds there for Charlotte de Falk and Botticelli for Belgium. So now... We head into a second short break. I've had 11 riders already come forward and here, sorry, 10 riders already come forward. No, 11 riders already come forward. And it is our Danish combination out in the lead with 71.478%. Charlotte there slots it into second for Belgium with 71.391. Uh, Marlies van de Putten and Torvaletten's Titanium RS2 in third with 70.717. So that is our podium so far. Still with plenty more to go in the third half. So make sure you join us back. In just a few moments' time, the next combination will be coming forward at 20 past 11.
Get into the judge's seat at the FEI Dressage World Cup with a chance to win great prizes. You have a unique opportunity to judge the competing riders here in the Munster and on the upcoming FEI Dressage World Cup Western European League events. Join the FEI Elite today by downloading the spectator judging app and select PR Classics on Munster. You can predict the top three riders to score extra points and compare your marks directly with the judges. Great rewards await you for the most active and accurate players at the end of the season. With a trip or two with the future heavy online massage event as a grand prize. The judges seat is yours. Download the spectator judging app now from the App Store or Google Play Store. Welcome back to part three of this World Cup for dressage. Here is the start list for part three. Bianca Nowak, Ollenbrook, King is off. Mathis Alexander, Rath, Larissa Paulides, Raphael Nets, Emily Schultons and Patrick Kittle all left to come forward in this part three. It is all to play for. We have had an 11 combinations come forward so far. The score to beat is 71.478% and that is from Nadja Abosloth and Faber Gustav from Denmark. And what can this lady do? It is Germany's Bianca Nowak Ollenbrook. And she is riding Florine OLD, a 12-year-old Oldenburg mare by foundation. This is their fourth World Cup qualifier, having competed in both Lyon, Stuttgart and Amsterdam. In Lyon, they finished seventh in the Grand Prix with 72.4 and tenth in the freestyle. Then in Stuttgart, they finished ninth in the Grand Prix with 71.4 and twelfth in the freestyle. And just a few weeks ago in Amsterdam, we saw them in 10th in the Grand Prix with 72.1 and 11th in the freestyle with 77.63, which is their new freestyle personal best. They competed in Hagen in September and finished at the top of the podium with a personal best in the Grand Prix of 74.8. They did their first freestyle together a year ago here in Neumünster, where they finished a very respectable seventh in their third ever international together. So, kicking off part three of this Western European League World Cup qualifier here in Neumünster, it is Bianca Noag Ollenbrook and Florine OLD for Germany. Already a good start, a nice halt. Such a lovely partnership. Lots of harmony.
just looked slightly hurried there in that first extended trot. Really nice hit though through the half pass. Beautifully fluent. Easy in the change of bend. Again, a nice hold to see. Very accurate and pretty good steps in the rain back. Could have had more fluency coming out back up into the trot. Again, they're tracking up in the extended trot this time, but just has a bit of a hurrying tendency in those. Could just see the hind legs a bit more under. Oh, just a little break in the rhythm in the transition into the PF. That was a shame because then they just lost a bit of the activity actually in the PF itself. so difficult when you have a little blip in the transition going into she did a good job of actually rescuing that and getting the PF that she did fairly nice there through the extended walk could have a bit more ground cover the relaxation developed as the diagonal went on Nicely on the aids in the transition. Lovely suspension there in the passage. Better transition into the PF, but actually still needs some more activity here in the PF. Very earthbound, especially behind. Very clear in the aids in the transition up into canter. Lovely big ground covering tempi changes. Nice and uphill. Could maybe be a little straighter for some bigger marks. Good ground cover there in the extended canter and really extending right the way through that diagonal line right to the end before the flying changes sorry before the flying change not changes nice and supple to the bend in the canter zigzag lovely balance there one chain short behind and actually just as I said better balance at the end the balance just left got lost a little bit after that final change good through the one time changes much better straightness in the ones than in the twos lovely preparation for the canter pirouette really nice collection you can see the half halt as she comes round into the canter pirouette very well centered it's a little bit big there at the beginning better there towards the end
What I really love about this combination as well is how the frame just stays the same. She's so consistent in the contact, keeping that fluency throughout. Nice lift and suspension here in the passage. Oh, just thinking slightly back there in the PF. Although you want to see the movement fairly on the spot, it's still a forward thinking movement. And unfortunately, she did have some steps stepping back there in that final PF. But a super square halt to finish for Bianca Noag Ollenbrook and Florin OLD for Germany. Such a lovely mare. Really, really lovely, harmonious partnership. Just didn't quite have the activity that we would like to see in the PF today. It was just slightly earthbound. You could see Bianca having to work quite hard, especially with her leg, to keep the activity there. But really super through the changes. Lovely ground cover through those. Slightly swaying in the one in the two times, but nice and straight through the ones. A very, very consistent test. Really lovely through the two, two trot half passes at the beginning. Slightly hurried in the extended trots today. Lovely jump in the canter. Some big pats for Florine OLD from Bianca. And she goes into the lead at 71.609 marks, ranging from 70 up to 73.804. So there we have it for Bianca Noag Ollenbrook, our new leader, 71.609 for Germany. Such a packed audience for this Grand Prix. Barely an empty seat. There was an early start for the audience as well, starting at nine o'clock this morning. Next up, we have another combination for Germany. This time we can see him coming into the arena now. You can actually see the warm up a little bit in the background. It is Matthias Alexander Ruff and Destacado FRH. This is an 11 year old Hanoverian stallion by Desperados. There you can see our photographers taking a little break. 
This is a very established member of the German team. He's picked up silver and bronze individually at previous championships. And last year rode Thiago GSOLD at the Europeans, finishing 19th in the special 72.9 and helped Germany win team silver. Matthias and Destacado have been together from the beginning. They competed in the young horse classes as five and six year olds at the World Breeding Championships, finishing second as a five year old and fourth as a six year old. They then started at Grand Prix in 2021 with enormous success. In fact, they've only actually been outside the top three twice and have had 15 wins from 25 starts. They competed in three World Cup qualifiers so far this season. In Roclaw, they had a double win with 75.1 in the Grand Prix. They then headed to Madrid and won the Grand Prix with 73.1 and the second in the freestyle. And last time out, they competed in Basel, where they finished third in the Grand Prix and freestyle with 74.6 and 81.75, their freestyle personal best. It is Matthias Alexander Rath and Destacado FRH for Germany. A really nice start for this pair. A good square halt and a nice move off. Some good steps in the extended trot. Could just have had a little more balance. Lovely crossing here in the half pass, nice and supple to the bend. Nice to see the left half pass being well matched with the right. Could maybe just have had a little bit more length in the neck. Super square halt a tad early. Just dropping the pole there in the rain back. I'd like to see more self carriage in the rain back, but really good in the rhythm. Again, some nice strides in the extended trot. Could just see a bit more coming from the hind leg for a bigger mark. Some good lift in the PF, but just needs to take some more weight behind one of the hind legs, the right hind leg, in fact, just stepping back out of the PF. Good relaxation here in the walk, really marching, super ground cover. You can see the horse really swinging over the back in the walk. That's surely got to be getting eights, maybe even nines. I think maybe for the nine though, you could see a bit more stretch. So let's just wait and see what that extended walk gets from the judges. Really good in the collective walk as well. Good in the rhythm. Yeah, 8.2 for the extended walk. So now just needs to make sure that the horse is really stepping under. Yeah, again with that right hind. Oh, one step there, he came underneath, but the rest, that right hind just stepping back in the PF. Nice jump in the canter. Some nice big ground covering changes, but quite a bit of swinging. You definitely want to see those changes straighter on that diagonal line. A 
lovely ground cover there in the extended canter. Matthias doing a good job of trying to keep the balance through this canter zigzag. Slightly straighter here in the one time changes. Just generally in the canter, sometimes he loses a little bit of the self carriage. but really lovely jump in the canter. Oh, well recovered from Matthias there. Just lost the canter going into the canter pirouette. He did a really good job of getting that back and getting around the canter pirouette. Needs to keep that impulsion going into the canter pirouette. Keep the balance on the hind leg better there in the pirouette to the right lost a bit of the canter jump yeah the canter pirouette right picking up a 7.2 average which is definitely higher than one to the left lovely suspension here in the passage now he really needs to keep this activity especially from the hind leg coming into the transition and into the piaf you can really see the difference there behind yeah some better steps there towards the end has such lovely lift and rhythm in front it just needs to be more equally matched behind but a super square halt to finish from Matthias Alexander Raff and Destacado FRH for Germany. Such a super talented horse. Some really, really lovely work. Especially in the trot at the beginning. Really beautiful through the trot half passes. Really nice and supple to the bend. Today, of course, lost marks in the PF because of that stepping back just not entirely equal behind but really lovely lift through the passage the canter generally for me i would have liked to have seen a little bit more self-carriage but very very good ground cover in these changes a bit of swaying in the twos much straighter in the one-time changes Unfortunately, they just lost the impulsion going into that first canter pirouette as well, but managed to regain it for the second canter pirouette. You can see here, just that one step there, but he did such a super job of regaining the canter so that he could finish the canter pirouette. And of course, those canter pirouettes, both double coefficients, so very, very expensive if you make a mistake, but very well recovered from Matthias. And he goes into the lead, 73.217. Scores very consistent, ranging from 72.065 up to 73.696. Ja, erstmal ist es schön, mal wieder hier in der Münze zu sein. Das war jetzt doch eine ganze Zeit lang her. Dafür, dass ich die ersten 16 Jahre meines Lebens jedes Jahr hier war, waren es jetzt 14 Jahre nicht. Es hat wahnsinnig Spaß gemacht, hier wieder nach der Münze zu kommen und hier zu reiten. Und ähm, ja, ich glaube, der Carlo hat jetzt über den Winter nochmal eine tolle Entwicklung gemacht. Er ist doch nochmal ein ganzes Stück gereist, hat Kraft bekommen und Balance bekommen. Und ähm, ja, ich bin mit der Prüfung wirklich sehr zufrieden. So there we have it, a new leader, 73.217, Matthias Alexander Rath and Destacado FRH for Germany. Still, we have four competitors left to come forward. So it is still all to play for. 
a rider for Belgium, a rider for Germany, a rider for the Netherlands, and a rider for Sweden. So next up is our rider from Belgium. It is Larissa Paulis from Belgium. And she's riding Flambeau, a 14-year-old KWPM gelding by Ampere, a very experienced rider. She competed at the World Championships 2022 and the Europeans in 2021 with first at Valentin and at the Tokyo Olympics and the recent European Championships with this horse. They made it into the final freestyle at the Europeans where they picked up 78% for 16th place. Larissa has been busy on the World Cup circuit with both horses this season. She started in Lyon with this horse, finishing eighth in both classes, 72% in the Grand Prix. They then went on to Stuttgart and finished seventh in the Grand Prix with 72% and 11th in the freestyle. Mecklen was their last outing where they were fourth in the Grand Prix, again with 72%, and eighth in the freestyle with 77.9, their personal best. She also competed first at Valentin in Madrid, finishing 7th in the Grand Prix and 8th in the Freestyle. It is Larissa Paulis and Flambeau for Belgium. This horse is built so naturally uphill. Some really good steps in the extended trot. Got better actually as it went on, as she was able to open the frame up a little more towards the end. Oh, Jess needs to watch the rhythm there at the beginning of the trot half pass. Got much better there as she went on. with a little bit more suppleness to the bend here in the half past left. Lovely transition. Unfortunately, not quite square, but very accurate on the marker. Just a little pat of reassurance there from Larissa as he knocked the whiteboard. Again, some good steps there in the extended trot. Just really needs to open that frame up a little more. Lovely lift here. Really good in the rhythm. Super fluency in the transition. Just a little bit of traveling in the PF. Could have maintained that fluency and that transition out. The transition into the PF was beautifully fluent and just had a small interruption in the transition back out again. Nice here in the walk. Could be a little more relaxed. You can see that he's just creeping a little behind the vertical there in the walk and dropping the contact want to see a much more consistent frame and more of a stretch with a relaxed back. Really good though in the collected walk, super in the rhythm. Again, there in the PF, some really good steps. Just needs a little more balance. And again, the same as the transitions as the first one, the, the transition in was so beautifully smooth. and 
straight through these two time changes. Beautifully ground covering through those twos. good risk here taken in the extended canter needs to keep it going yeah i thought it was going to fade but actually she kept it going well changed a little early lovely reach in these canter half passes Yeah, accurately ridden through the zigzag. I felt the same as in the trot half passes. He has more suppleness to the right than he does to the left. And you can see that again there in the zigzag. Nice one time changes. Lost a bit of the straightness in that diagonal line. Well centered. Yeah, nice. Could have been a little more over the back and had a bit more jump through the canter pirouette for bigger marks. You can just see there, just going into the canter pirouette, he just braces slightly. And therefore, especially in that second one, actually, she just loses a bit of the bend um, and could have just been more through and over the back, especially in that canter pirouette to the right. So coming down the final centre line, lovely lift, really clear in the rhythm in the passage, slightly unsteady to the contact here, just needs to be a bit more through. Again, super here in the passage as she comes into her final halt. There we have it for Larissa Pulis and Flambeau for Belgium. A really, really super expressive horse. A lovely test. Looking really, really super together. I think every time I see this combination, they just seem to get more and more together. A really super job from Larissa today. Unfortunately, they had that little blip in the halt rein back where he just lost his balance and kicked the whiteboard down. So that lost them a few marks. But really super in the passage. Really nice lift and good transitions into the PF. It was just in the PF at times where he didn't quite maintain that same level of throughness and then that affected the transition back up into Passage where at times the rhythm was a little bit sticky. Really super in the flying changes and nice in the first canter pirouette. Just the second one where they got a little bit sticky towards the end it just lost a little bit of the throughness but such great energy throughout the test lovely lift in the PF passage I think it's going to be a good score they go into the lead 73.283 scores ranging from 72.174 up to 74.565. We have a new leader, Larissa Pulis and Flambeau for Belgium. That is, a, in fact, a personal best as well. So next up, it is our final combination for Germany. It is Raphael Netz, and he is riding Great Escape Camelot, a 13-year-old KWPN gelding by Johnson. 
This is this combination's fourth Western European League World Cup qualifier. They started in leg one in Herning, where they finished fourth in the Grand Prix with 72.6 and seventh in the freestyle. They then headed to Stuttgart, finishing at fifth in the Grand Prix with 72.5 and got 80.1 in the freestyle. Their last time out was in Mecklen, where they scored 73.1 in the Grand Prix and 80 in the freestyle, both personal bests. They also had a win in the Central European League, helping boost their points and position in the standings. Rafael took the reins in 2023 after the horse had been competed by Estelle Vetsti. Rafael has competed in four youth European championships. He's won six gold medals, three silvers and a bronze. He's based with Jessica von Bredeverdel and Benjamin Vendel as a, an assistant rider and is 25 years old. Raphael Nets and Great Escape Camelot for Germany. Oh, that's a shame. Just stepping back in that first halt. That's absolutely not the start that he would want, but a lovely move off this horse beautifully uphill. Lovely expression. Yeah, some nice steps there. Again, keeping that uphill tendency in the extended trot. Super crossing there in the half pass. Better there towards the end. Just the first couple of steps, he just looked like he dropped the pole slightly. Really lovely suppleness to the bend. Quite early into the halt. But he did maintain and establish that halt much better than the one on the centre line. Really good steps in the rain back. Really beautifully balanced. Fairly nice steps in the extended trot. Just lengthen the frame slightly. Did a good job of lengthening the stride, but the frame needs to match. Some good lift in the PF. Slightly more lift from the hind leg than the forelimb. transition into a nice relaxed walk really good here in the contact taking a good stretch could have a bit more ground cover for the bigger marks but really nice and forward and marching in the walk to make sure that this collective walk isn't a little quick. Better there towards the end. Lovely energy into the passage. Oh, just losing the rhythm. Yeah, just lost a little bit of the fluency in the PF there. On oh, losing the fluency up into the counter transition. Lovely jump here though in the counter. Nice and straight. Could have had better placement on the diagonal line. Fit started fairly early and therefore finished quite early. 
We want to see that middle change over X. Super steps there in the extended canter. Nice ground cover. Plenty of crossing here in the counter half passes. Again, finished quite early. Just really needs to think about that placement. I think because he went for such steep half passes, needed to really think about traveling forward as well as sideways and keeping that three time beat in the canter. And there and again in the ones, just got a little tight in the back. Quite a bit of swaying in the ones as opposed to the lovely straight two-time changes. Very centered canter pirouettes. Just needs to keep that uphill carriage. You can see the pole dropping slightly. Yeah, Raphael doing a good job of just trying to keep that pole up. Lovely control through the canter pirouettes. And nice and forward. Much better there in the frame in the extended trot. Really keeping that pole up and that nose open. As he comes down the final centre line. lovely lift here in the passage and needs to keep this rhythm coming into the piaf keep the frame as it is and keep that equal lift in front and behind better slightly better fluency there as well lovely there in the rhythm And there we have it for Raphael Nets, a super square halt to finish with a lovely great escape Camelot. This pair still relatively young, Raphael only 25 years old in this horse, which is 13, but already he's achieved so, so much. Won six gold medals, three silvers and a bronze. And he is based with the very best. Jessica von Breda Verndel, our Olympic World Cup and European champion. Some really, really super work. I would have liked to have seen better placement in the flying changes and the canter zigzag. He started quite early and finished quite early, and so therefore it just doesn't look as well presented. But a really super job, a really nice horse so naturally uphill and you could really see that coming through especially in the trot work really lovely rhythm throughout great preparation in these canter pirouettes really lovely control very very well centered and lovely there in that final extended trot where he was able to open the frame and really lengthen the stride as well as lengthen that frame a real combination to watch out for in the future. Unfortunately, they didn't start as well as they would have liked, but it's into third place, 72.761% scores ranging from 71.848 up to 73.152.
So there we have it for Raphael Netz and great escape Camelot for Germany. A score of 72.761% and into third. Two combinations left to go. It is the turn now of Emily Scholten's and Indian Rock for the Netherlands. This is an 11-year-old KWPN stallion by Apache. Another combination from the European Championships last year and the 2022 World Championships. At the Europeans, they finished 13th in the Grand Prix with 74.4, 9th in the Special with 75.9, and 12th in the Freestyle with 80.9. At the World Championships, she made it through to the Freestyle Finals and finished 15th with 74.5, only six months after giving birth. This is the third World Cup qualifier after competing in Lyon, finishing third in the Grand Prix with 73.3 and fifth in the freestyle. They then competed in Amsterdam just a few weeks ago, coming seventh in the Grand Prix with 72.6 and tenth in the freestyle with 78.6. It is Emily Scholten's and Indian Rock for the Netherlands. A nice start in the halt. Enormous ground cover there in the extended trot. So much expression from this horse. such enormous reach could be more supple to the bend though in this half pass better there to the right just slightly dropping the pole leaving that left hind leg out Good steps in the rain back. Again, the same there in the extended trot. Some lovely reach, tracking up nicely. Could just have had a little more self carriage. Wonderful lift there and rhythm in the passage. And a nice fluent transition into the PF. Needs to maintain that activity though through the PF. Just got a little bit slow. Needs to maintain that balance throughout. Good relaxation here in the walk. Some fairly nice ground cover in the extended walk. Keeping a nice rhythm. Again, just getting a little bit slow. Yeah, needed to maintain the rhythm in the PF. Gets very close with the foreleg and the hind leg in the PF as well. Just needs to make sure that they don't get a little too narrow at the base.
huge ground cover in these changes. Really using that whole diagonal line. Enormous ground cover. And again there, the same in the extended canter. Keeping that pole up well. Just needs to make sure that he doesn't come a little short in the neck. Emily doing a really good job of trying to keep that pole up at the highest point. Accurately ridden through the half passes. Yeah, good clean one-time changes. Needs to keep the balance and the fluidity in the ones. Beautifully uphill in that canter pirouette. Seems to find those pirouettes really easy. An eight average score from the judges for the pirouette to the left. Needed a little more balance coming out of the pirouette to the right. Yeah, it's slightly a drop, 7.7 .7 as opposed to the eight for the pirouette to the left. Horse has such fantastic lift in the passage. Oh, just a little blip coming into the P Alpha X there. Needs to keep the balance through those transitions. So there we have it for Emily Scholtens and Indian Rock for the Netherlands. A fantastic partnership, already achieved so much and this horse is just 11 years old. They're definitely going to that, have their eyes set on a place at the Paris Olympics later this year. So now we can watch the highlights. Such an expressive horse. Lovely rhythm through the passage, super lift. Just at times lost a bit of the activity through the PF. Really nice in the changes, lovely ground cover in the canter. Just at times we could have seen a little bit more self-carriage. Look at that ground cover in the two time changes. Beautifully ridden from Emily. A super, super test. Lovely control through those counter pirouettes. That was definitely a highlight, especially the first one. And she's into the lead, 73.456% for Emily Scholtons and Indian Rock. I just love this horse. So for me, it's, it's perfect. Almost perfect. You have a great place having this horse. It's amazing, stallion. And I'm now very much looking what scores you will get. Wie ist das Ergebnis? Ja, das Ergebnis sieht sehr gut aus. It's a very good story. So she goes into the lead. 
It is 73.456%. Marks ranging from 71.739 up to 74.239%. So, one combination left to go. The new leader, the Netherlands, Emily Scholten's and Indian Rock. But our final competitor is one for Sweden. It is Patrick Kittel and Forever Young HRH. This is a 12-year-old Westphalian mare. Patrick is at the top of the current standings for good reason. He had a win in leg one with touchdown with 84%. He then rode this horse to fourth in Lyon with 80.6. Then in Stuttgart, he rode Bonnemoir to third with 81.3. And then last time out in Amsterdam, he finished third with touchdown with 84.9. This pair competed in Hagen in September last year, where they finished second in the Grand Prix with 75% and took the win in the freestyle. He's actually only ever scored below 80% in the freestyle once in May last year, where he scored 79.9. Patrick is, of course, a regular on the World Cup circuit and competed at the European Championships last year with his top ride touchdown. He's competed in the Beijing, the London and the Rio Olympic Games, as well as three world championships and many European championships as well. He was instrumental in helping Sweden clinch the team bronze medal in 2019 at the European Championships in Rotterdam. It is Patrick Kittel and Forever Young HRH for Sweden. move off into the trot lengthening the frame there as well as the stride in the extended trot could just have a little more pushing power from the hind leg to really track up in the extension really nice crossing through the half pass these half passes, double coefficients. Really nice and supple to the bend. Slightly early into the halt, not quite square on that right hind. Could have had more self-carriage in the rain back. Nice lift here in the passage. Really good in the rhythm so far. needs to keep the forward momentum yeah well ridden from Patrick just lost a little bit of the balance and the balance slightly came back but very very well Walk is definitely not this horse's strongest point, and he really rode that. Needs to be careful of the rhythm behind in the passage, in the move off from the walk.
slightly early in the transition up into the canter. Again, big ground covering changes. Could maybe just have been a little more uphill for a bigger mark. Really super confident changes. And lovely there in the extended canter. Again, could have just been a little more uphill, but really covering the ground. Took a really good risk through the extended canter. nice and supple to the bend through this canter zigzag and that frame just staying so consistent through this test Yeah, nice in the one-time changes again, very consistent. Could have just been a little more supple over the back. Great preparation coming in for the counter pirouette. Lovely control. Again, could just have been a little more uphill, but super jump in the canter. Oh, just lost the balance in that last step coming out of the canter pirouette. Again, really opening that frame in the extended trot. Lovely lift in the passage. Now needs to maintain that coming into the PF. Keep that rhythm. Yeah, just could have sat a little bit more. But super here in the passage. Oh, needs to be careful of the rhythm behind again. And there we have it for Patrick Kittle and Hate Forever Young HRH. This lovely mare. Patrick's already done so well on the Western European League so far, sitting at top of the standings. So many marks over 80% in his freestyles. What I really enjoyed about this test was that the frame stayed so consistent, really pushing into a lovely frame with the pole at the highest point. Just a few little blips in the PF today, not always keeping the rhythm, not always staying in front of him, but lovely control through the canter pirouettes. Just at times could have had a little more self-carriage, a little bit more uphill tendency in the canter. But overall, a really lovely job from Patrick. So he goes into fourth with 73.13%, scores ranging from 71.413 up to 74.348%. So into fourth, just off the podium for Patrick Kittle and Forever Young HRH. 
So there we have it. Our final combination have gone. And we now look at our official results. It is Emily Schultons and Indian Rock who take the win in this Grand Prix. Look at that. The top four all on 73%. 73.456. Larissa Paul is in second with 73.283. Matthias Alexander Rath in third with 73.217. And Patrick Kittle in fourth with 73.130. It doesn't get much closer than that. And that is so exciting for tomorrow's freestyle. It really is all to play for. Who's going to pick up those 20 points? Now we can see. Further down the leaderboard, Ingrid Klimka in 12th place with first class 92 for Germany, 68% between the Haas and Let It Be NRW for Austria in 14th. So we just set up now for the prize giving where we will welcome our top placed riders into the arena. And these are our standings of the Western European League. No points today in today's Grand Prix. The points will be collected in tomorrow's freestyle. Patrick Kittle sitting pretty at the top with 70 points. Now has got Bob Morald in second with 64. And Charlotte Fry close behind in equal third with Isabel Wirt from Germany. Now you can see Larissa Paulis there in equal 12 for Belgium. She will hopefully pick up some extra points tomorrow. Boya Kalakosa in equal 16th place with 27 points. He will also be looking to climb that leaderboard tomorrow. So as I said, we're just setting up now for the prize giving. So make sure you don't go anywhere as we watch back on our highlights from today's Grand Prix.
Meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, wir kommen nun zur Siegerehrung. Im Eisverfahren an den Ritter Schulze und der Familie Schwiebert, Kommilien Hof, MBI, Dressage, World Cup, Qualifier, Grand Prix, so, you welcome back for the prize giving of this Western European League World Cup qualifier Grand Prix here in Neumünster. We welcome back our top competitors from today's Grand Prix. So, in eighth place, it is Charlotte de Falk and Botticelli for Belgium with a score of 71.391%. They finished in eighth place. And then in seventh place with the personal best, it is Denmark's Nadia Abosloff and Favor Gerstorf. A score 71.478%. Then in sixth place, it is Bianca Noag Ollenbrook and Florin OLD for Germany with a score of 71.609%. In fifth place, it is Germany's Raphael Netz and Great Escape Camelot, with a score of 72.761. And in fourth place in our final combination to go, it is Patrick Kittel and Forever Young HRH for Sweden with a score of 73.13%. They finished fourth today. What can they do in tomorrow's Grand Prix? The real crowd favorite is our Patrick. Always has such fun music. So looking forward to seeing him compete tomorrow in the freestyle. So we just wait a few moments for the top three to join us in the arena. So you can see them now 
coming into the arena. Our winner, it is Emily Schultens and Indian Rock for the Netherlands. Followed by Larissa Police and Flambeau for Belgium. And finally, Matthias Alexander Raff and Destacado FRH for Germany. So we now stand for the national anthem of the Netherlands. Sorry, I'm a bit ahead. It is Emily Schultens and Indian Rock for the Netherlands, our winners of this Western European League World Cup qualifier with a score of 73.456%. In this Grand Prix, a fantastic ride for Emily. And now we stand for the national anthem of the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of the Netherlands. So huge congratulations to Emily Schultens with her fabulous ride, Indian Rock. As I said, very, very close at the top between our top four competitors, all on 73. So Madeleine Winterschulz comes forward as our presenting partner of this World Cup qualifier. Madeline, a very familiar face as one of Isabel Vert's longest standing owners. A fabulous cup there presented to Emily Schultens. She really is such an extraordinary lady. So committed to our fabulous sport. So we thank her very, very much for being our sponsor of this fabulous class. We move on to our second place combination. We have the FEI representative come and present the prizes to Emily Schultons. Jury Henning Lerman from Germany coming to congratulate Emily. 
that picture. And that is an organising committee representative from this fabulous competition here, the VR Classics in Neumünster. Everybody together for a picture with our winner. As now we move on to congratulate our combination in second place with 73.283% and a personal best. It is Larissa Paulis and Flambeau from Belgium. <laughs> Fabulous test from Larissa. This pair really do go from strength to strength. So looking forward to seeing what they can achieve tomorrow in the freestyle. and Flambeau as we move on to our combination in third place it is with a score of 73.217 Matthias Alexander Rath and Destacado FRH the horse is just getting a little bit of PF practice in before their test tomorrow So a huge congratulations to all of our competitors today, but a special congratulations to our top three. Emily Scholten's our winner with Indian Rock. Larissa Paulis and Flambeau from Belgium. And Matthias Alexander Rath and Destacado FRH. That is it from us today on FEI TV. I hope you join us back tomorrow for the freestyle. We will be starting at just before 10 a.m. So make sure you join us back here on FEI TV for all of the action. But that's it from me. I hope you have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And we look forward to joining you back tomorrow for the freestyle. But enjoy the rest of the prize giving. Until tomorrow, goodbye.